Well, we're at Castle Russian and we're catching up with the local filmmakers everywhere at the moment. And there's already online an item about the ones being shot here in Manx. But also, while we're around, we've got Christy De Haven and another film is going into production this coming week. Uh, you're so busy. What's this one? It is, yeah. Uh, the one, there's one that starts filming. It's actually tonight. They've got their first shots tonight and it's called Closet. And it's another Man in Shorts production. So the script was brought through the Man in Shorts scheme. Um, we've got Man in Shorts trainees working on it. We've also got some professionals working on it so that our trainees can learn from the professionals so they're kind of shadowing them um, the script was written by John Crane who's a professional cinematographer who's from the Isle of Man uh, we've got uh, it's been directed by Chris Gore who's another Manxie uh, producer Debs Gwinnell really good cast in there Will Sutton is one of the lead roles in it the guy who does all the free running and he's also a, a cameraman himself and makes short film too so yeah it's all a very Manx production it's great how come there's so much going on at the minute then? I mean, Man and Shorts obviously seem to be leading the way, but where's it all coming from? I mean, the support and the people in, involved, it must be quite logistical to get it all together, isn't it? Well, it is really, but I think all you need in these situations is a catalyst because the Isle of Man is full of creative people. There's so much creative talent on the Isle of Man. You know, I think per capita, you'd have to say it's probably slightly more than other areas, although I'm Manx and proud. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there's a lot going on. So when um, we decided to put together Man in Shorts, which is essentially a training scheme, but also production of short films. Um, all we had to do was sort of put the word out and the thing's just grown. So we've got this community of filmmakers now that I think there's like nearly 200 on the mailing list, all from the Isle of Man and Manxies who work further afield as well. Uh, we have meetings once a month and there's usually 40 odd people come to the meetings. As I said, we've got our productions on, so Solace and Wicker um, has been shooting, then we've got Closet shooting tomorrow. We've also already shot Hide and Seek and I Do, and there's another one on the cards. But also, we're finding that there's filmmakers, obviously from without the Man and Short scheme, who are making their own films. There's loads of things going on. There's, there's a chap on this film who's an animator who works on stuff. We've got uh, Andy Blackburn, who was formerly of the Manx Multimedia Centre years ago. He now lives in London, is working in London, but he's come back uh, just for a holiday and he's been roped into this film as well. <laughs> so he's kind of ADing and doing stuff on it. So, yeah, people are just coming out of the woodwork, really, and just getting involved. If people wanted to get onto your mailing list and get you know, themselves into the filming and making them or in, in any sort, you know, in front of the camera, behind the camera, whatever, can they get in touch with you? Yeah, they can do. You just go to maninshorts.com and if you go to the contact page, there's a sign up on there um, for the mailing list and we tell everyone about everything there. And we, we're trying to get as much, obviously, press around everything as possible because we do need support. So it's not just the, the crew and the cast and, and so the production side of it, but also, obviously, our other thing is films cost money too. So, uh, you know, we're trying to get funding for these things like Solace and Wicker, the, the um, film that's been shooting this week at Castle Russian. We had fantastic funding from Manx Heritage foundation charles gar has been really helpful with that and has funded the film because obviously um as you can hear in the background there's some some filming going on at the minute it's in manx language the film so we've got support um financial support from heritage for that as well as some support from isle of man film as well so each of the films apart from cast and crew we also look for sponsors so if anyone's interested in in talking to us about that too then they can find out more on the website on manishorts.com